quit, quit, <laughs> quit. My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. Okay, this works. What are you doing? So, why are you on the computer? Oh, uh, I'm trying to get this thing to hook up to the internet so we can do something on it today. Why are we doing something on the computer? Why can't we just do it on our phones? Your phone can get on a computer? Your phone is a computer. And a video recorder, and a camera, and a, I mean, my, even it's a measuring tape without the tape. What? You hear that in the background? That's the chickens you just pissed I off. Piss them. <laughs> I caught them jokers, y'all. They my chickens now. <laughs> yep, Craig caught the chickens yep. and take them home. Oprah Henfrey and Ann Hatchaway. Yep. What All we right. got going? Let's see. Yeah, I got it going on. So today's uh video is gonna be based off of Morph Market. The do's and don'ts and whatever else we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. So but mainly what I wanted to bring up is, um, and this also goes for like Facebook. I'm not sure if Instagram has like reviews. Or... I don't think it does have reviews. I, uh -huh. know, I definitely know Facebook has reviews. Yep. So, uh, something that I want to point out and ask for people. So we'll just go ahead and do Facebook while we're here. We have a couple of pages. Somewhere. For those that don't know, we also have an Eagles View Media because we do video. I mean, video editing and photography and stuff and we also have a j and b honey because um oh we're they in got, the honey business they too. got some good honeys our facebook has a lot of reviews and a lot of check-ins and stuff like that so i'm very proud of that um i've uh i've tried to make a business that has customer service as its number one priority and i feel like we've done that so if you've ever bought anything from us, um, or just like our channel or whatever, how about go to our Facebook page and leave a review? Um, it just, it helps because if, if somebody doesn't really know who a company is, they're going to go research it. And if they research and they find my Facebook page and, you know, there's all these great reviews on it, then guess what? They're going to be a little bit more apt to, uh, buying from me. And it's not just me. You know, if you've dealt with somebody that you really like, um even like my buddy justin uh justin cabelco reptiles i mean everybody in the reptile business pretty much knows who he is well when i bought stuff from him i left him reviews um and i'm the world's worst about leaving reviews so if i bought something from you and you need a uh, review from me then uh hit me up and i'll make sure i make it happen we sometimes we just get busy and forget about it anyway those reviews really do count so all right, uh, let's go back to Morph Market because that's that actually what we're supposed to be market. about. So, <clears throat> Morph Market. How do you use Morph Market and what is the deal with, uh, you know, the reviews and stuff? So, I thought, let's see. I thought Morph Market was just where we calculated the odds on what we were going to make. No, Morph Market is actually a selling platform that's that... Cute. I would say majority, maybe not, well, probably our majority of the people um, in the reptile world post their animals they have for sale. We also have a website. Some places do have websites, mm -hmm. but this is kind of like a, I don't know, just a general good area you can go to. Most of the people on Morph Market you can trust. Did you hear what I said? Most. Most. So let's say. Uh, so can we do it by a store? uh yeah so let's do categories first yeah let's say you're in the business for a uh, king snake mm. i like king snakes i think they're cool too so you click on the king snakes and um so what all these are 
or different genetics. Oh, this screen. Look oh, you got here. I got one touch screen. So we fancy y'all. Um, this is my wife's. So I have no idea how to use. It. <laughs> I'm not computer. Let's change all our passwords. That would be funny. Let's do it. We're logged in now. We're logged in. Okay. Cassie, Cassie, edit this part out. Anyway, uh, so all of these are the genetic mutations that mm -hmm. uh, are available at the moment. There are, sometimes there are more genetic mutations than what this shows because nobody has one listed. Would you say that if you mix these together, it's a mutation creation? Possibly. Okay, all right. All right. So bad, bad jokes, all right. There may be, um, you know, more available, just nobody has them for sale. Right. So, um, but anyway, these are genetics. All right, so basically what you're looking at is recessive. Um, let's stick with albino because most people know that. Albino, this would be pos hit. The orange would be 100% hit and today is um everybody's receiving their snake day right yep yeah i shipped out a lot of snakes yesterday and people were blowing my phone up but that's a good thing yep um maybe if we tell them hey we're doing a video about making reviews right now <laughs> if you could leave a review real quick we can show it on the video that would that is possible but so, we'll get to that <clears throat> all right better this better uh this. albino so pause hit would be the yellow 100 percent hit would be orange and the visual would be you know, um, the, other. the pink or red or whatever color they yeah. tried to be. So, oh wow, look at that one. That was yellow. Yep. So, this one really catches my eye right off the bat. Strapped, striped albino. So, can we have cool. those in Georgia? Uh, depends on what the king snake species is. Okay. So, this is California king snake. So, so we can, yes, yes, we can have that. You, we can have, like, if I wanted to buy this animal, it's perfectly legal to have this shipped in. But we can't Georgia. have eastern indigo snakes in Georgia. Because nope. I'm very jealous that everybody else gets to have them and we can't even touch them in our yard. Yep. Stripe, I think most of the striped king snakes are probably going to be California kings. Right. Pretty sure that they are. Could be wrong. Um, but anyway, so what we have here, the blue mm -hmm. with the arrow pointing to the right slightly, that is what? Oh, uh, that is a male. That's male. The pink with the plus sign at the bottom it is a female. female. So uh, And there's only two genders there's only two genders so male or female tells you right here and then mm -hmm. you also have the price and you also have um what breeder okay is uh you know making this available so all that's right here if you want a better picture sometimes people not me because i'm lazy um but a lot of people post multiple pictures okay and it tells you more information you know so anyway if you choose that this might be something you want to, are interested in, mm -hmm. you click the inquire to buy, send a message. Um, do not message the person um, asking a bunch of dumb questions. Say, hey, I would like to purchase this, you know, and maybe even give a little bit of information about yourself or, you know, just general conversation. Make sure the animal's available. If you have any more questions, then go from that point forward. Do not send a message that has like six or seven paragraphs. For that matter, don't even send one paragraph to a breeder. Okay? That can be said in my line of work too. And pretty much anywhere. Yeah. You know, make sure that the person knows that you're serious about buying it. And make sure it's interested. Because what if you type out all this information and the breeder sold this 10 minutes ago? And haven't had time to remove it from Morph Market or their website yet. That's right. Then you just wasted all that time. All that time that you could have been asking somebody else a question. Or if the per if there's somebody else ahead of you trying to purchase this animal, that uh, they can tell you, hey, I got somebody else ahead of you. You know, I'll get back to you shortly. Something along those lines. So just things to consider there. Mm -hmm. Hey, side note, I'm going to rant for a second. If you inquire about something, and put your personal information out there for someone to get in touch with you and then you start getting telephone calls and emails and you don't reply back no nah, not cool not cool so if you're asking them a question or me a question or anybody else on there a question yep and they call you answer the phone yep all right so uh, let's go ahead and go down categories if you want to look at different stores yeah so all these um view seller directory so this puts you into 
all the breeders for every species out here. So right now, Morph Market has 3,143 different sellers. That means someone watching this video is probably on Morph Market. Right now. And that they should go and leave a good review for someone. Yep. So let's get into that. All right. So let's say I'll click on mine. Oh, look who it is. Yep. So Tony, which this is wrong because I'm not Tony A. Thomas, but whatever yeah i know that and you know that and the rest of the world doesn't need to know <laughs> so um this is all my information basically right here um community profile my actual website my facebook page my instagram page my youtube page my personal telephone number and my delivery information local pickup is available as well as regional ship regional ship in the united states when did you join but i can't ship outside the country oh, no. just takes a little while and a lot of money um that's why i, like I joined uh september 19th 2017 congratulations so now we know when your anniversary is for your morph market anniversary yep september 19th so that's awesome dude um i was one of the first people to join on morph market i've been using it ever since love it um ratings 90 uh, so ratings right here is where it gets important seven i have 71 ratings 100 percent positive in the past 12 months if you want to look at more details you can click that so here's here's some of the reviews that people have left for me and I certainly do appreciate every one of them. But uh what we need to do or what I want to say to start with I sold about 500 animals in 2020. That's a lot of animals. I only have 71 reviews in the past 2 years. So you sold <laughs> he's getting the calculator out. Yeah, you sold so what I'm getting at is that's just from last year. I sold 600 or 700 a year before. I can't remember. I don't keep up hmm. with it. So I have sold a lot of animals, um, and a lot of these animals never get on morph market. And that's cool. I understand that. You can't leave me a review if it never hits morph market. That's right. But I just want to put it out there that there are a lot of good breeders that have a morph market account that have a very low rating based off they never put animals on morph market because their customer is buying those so keep in mind just because somebody doesn't have a lot of reviews on morph market doesn't mean that they're a new seller or doesn't mean that they're a bad seller it just means that they're selling stuff before it even hits morph market so keep that in mind when you're searching that's where it pays to have other platforms such as facebook our facebook page been mm -hmm. out since 2014 i think that's right has really good reviews on it that's why those reviews on my facebook page and all these other places that you can leave reviews are important because people might want to search something outside of morph market so just something to think about um and us breeders really appreciate that stuff how do we leave a review all right so the only way you can leave a review on morph market is if a seller indicates to you that they sold you an animal so it means you have to send an email from Wolf Market to a seller. Let's just use me for example, okay. it's just easier. Say Craig wants to buy a snake off of Morph Market that he's seen. So he sends me a message through Morph Market and we communicate. He buys it from my website or sends me Cash App or Venmo or whatever the day's yeah. <laughs> the newest app is. And uh I have to go on Morph Market and indicate that I sold him that animal. Once I do that, he can leave me a review once he's received the animal, or even if he wants to go ahead and whatever. So that's the only way you can leave a review is if you go through Morph Market. So I've never asked anybody to leave me a review, um, you know, through, yeah. a, through an email or anything like right. that. I just hope that they do. But the more I think about it, the more I'm like, you know what? I need these reviews. You do. I need these reviews because it makes other customers... Uh, feel more comfortable by buying from me. That's correct. So I'm asking for reviews and I'm also asking not just for me that anybody that you've had good dealings with or bad dealings with off of Morph Market or Facebook or wherever, you know, shout out and give them a review because that business needs it. That local business that supports their family needs that review and just think about those things. So, um, Anyway, I just kind of wanted to give an overdraft. If you don't know what Morph Market is, you're probably like 
living in the Stone Age, but just in case. I mean, it so, is the website to find snakes on. So, you know, maybe somebody out there in YouTube land has not uh, been on Wolf Market. If you haven't, then go check it out. It's a great platform to use. Um, but there are some, some iffy things on there. Again, go do your homework, check your reviews from other places. Now, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to just because. If somebody has an animal, I just happened to have this happen this past week. Matter of fact, I'm not going to show their name. Don't show their name. But somebody sent me a message for a $300 animal that I have. Um, a past LGHI something something uh, I have it listed at 300 bucks they didn't say hey or nothing they just sent 200 question mark it's all they sent so I responded to that as we can take a $200 deposit sure how would you like to pay that's all I gathered from that their next email back was no need for a deposit $200 question mark so I'm implying that the ant they want to buy this animal for $200 so my response was this animal is $300 plus $50 shipping $200 would only be a deposit they proceeded to message me back and told me that I can keep the snake and my poor uh, dry humor and then proceeded to tell me that they made the same offer to some other boa guy and that guy accepted their offer or some whatever you know what I feel sorry for the boa guys going to deal with some jackass that just sent me this email because that's not the way you do business that is not the way you do business that's not the way you do business to anybody um, if you want an animal you should be willing to pay full price. If you would like to get a discounted price or you think that the animal should be valued less, then guess what? It's not your animal. Whoever's selling that, and that's not just animals. If if I make a knife and I think it's worth 250 bucks, guess what that knife is going to sell for? 250 bucks. 250 bucks. If you do a lot of business with me and I, you know start to gain a friendship and a trust thing there, then you can start buying that knife for 225 but people literally make stuff not just animals but they make things and buy things to resell to make a living from you know don't be some jackass that goes and does something stupid like that so oh they're they're, they're out there every day they trust, are. trust me but trust me i know um anyway i just politely blocked him i didn't have him yeah and I mean, what's the point? You can't deal with people like that. And that's completely rude <clears throat> to be like that. When someone messaged you initially and you have something listed for a certain price and their first initial is, what's your bottom dollar? First of all, that's rude. Your bottom dollar means here's how much you paid for it. And that's the bottom dollar. So why would I doing what I do or him doing what he does or you doing what you do not not need to make money off of it. That's someone telling you that you're not good enough to make money off of something. Yep. And that's wrong. I mean, you'll pay you'll pay full price for Jordans, Michael Kors bags, Gucci, you know, anything like that. But you won't pay full price from an independent person trying to make it in the world? Yep. No. I, I ain't about that life. We do offer a discount, but not on a one, not on one snake. Not on... You know, not on a three hundred dollar snake. I mean, there's no money being made there to start with. <laughs> By the time this animal's had, you know, two or three months of food, uh, and then we lose money on shipping. It costs us more than fifty bucks to ship, but That's we right. only charge fifty bucks. So a three hundred dollar animal, there's not even nothing there. There, um, the animals are literally priced to the market. Yeah, a morph market. We kind of use that, and Craig's gonna love this term as the blue book value. Mm, it. so uh you just got my thumbs up on this video anyway um animals are priced different on morph market depending on the seller depending on the quality of the animal and honestly just depending on what time of year it is or what's hot at the moment or the rarity of it or the rarity of it right. so 
just for instance, um, I had a pastel leopard head desert ghost female listed at $1,200 for a long time. And I was offered 900, I was offered a thousand and I kept saying no and no and no and no and no, um, because I didn't mind keeping the female if it came down to it. I even had two guys tell me that I was way overpriced and, um, you know, the animal wasn't worth that and I should just sell it for $900 to them. And, uh, that's not a way to do business either. That is, um, all right, look, I'm goofy all the time, but, um, if there's something I know is, is about negotiating and stuff like that, that is a sorry way to negotiate by telling someone that their, their item is not valued and build up your value. Yeah. That's, that's not how you do business. Especially if he's an art. And especially if you're trying to purchase something from someone. I mean, what was it the other day? Um, I had one animal left and it was, the person says, oh, that's, that's too much money. And then, you know, actually it's not because it's literally the only one on morph market. So if I have something that is the only thing on morph market and they normally go for $200, yep. then I think it's completely fine for me to charge 275 for it yep. because it's the only one. Yep. So that, that's my rant. I mean, but, so I mean, it's just I could talk about that all day. But and no, I, you, and I see where the people were coming from. Um, there were two or three other similar am well pastel leopard head desert ghost females listed on morph market at nine hundred and a thousand dollars. I was asking twelve hundred for mine, and you know what? At the end of the day, I got the twelve hundred dollars for that particular animal. That's right. But if those people that were offering me nine hundred and a thousand for that animal. Um, why didn't they go to those other people? Ah, because it's the difference between buying a Honda or a Harley. Well, people trusted me mm -hmm. and they wanted to buy the snake for me. They just didn't want to pay what the price was. So they didn't want to deal with the other person. They wanted to deal with me. That's well, right. sometimes, um, and there are a bunch of breeders that are like this. Sometimes you pay a little extra just because of that customer service, just because of that background, just because of that knowing you're going to get a quality properly sexed great healthy animal just so, because of the brand yeah that's pretty right. much just because of the brand so um you know what I, and i'm not doing that to brag i'm not doing that pointing fingers i'm just simply putting this video out here to say that be careful when you're making offers and doing things i love i love selling snakes and i love giving discounts when discounts are deserved but don't come out with some lowball offer don't come out with something that you know is worth it you just don't want to pay the money for mm -hmm. it and don't come out with i want one snake and i want you to sell it to me for this it just it doesn't work for me it doesn't work for every breeder i know we all have a circle and we all talk about these same things amongst you know ourselves and you know what there's a reason why a lot of the bigger breeders, including myself, have stayed away and stepping away from social media, and it's because of things like that. And that really sucks. So anyway, um, if you ever have any questions about Morph Market or any other thing out there, um, you know, hit us up. Uh, I'll try to walk you through it or help you out with it, and there are much more um, knowledgeable people out there so hit them up too and I guess we'll uh, see you on the flip side sorry it's a long video and I was ranting a little bit but no man rants are good people need to know if you don't if you don't tell people they don't know yeah, if they can get away with it so and as the sad part is most of the people that are probably watching this video are probably the great people you yeah know, <laughs> there's the people that are, are you know the guy wanted the two hundred or three hundred dollar snake for two hundred dollars, and with just a jackass about it, he probably didn't even watch it. Yeah. Um, he probably just he's, started out. He's probably that one guy that leaves the thumbs down. He might be. I always get one or two hate, thumbs down. Haters. So. But you know what, man? Okay. Well, as Billy says, my channel, my content. I love so, it. I love it. Anyway, uh, hope y'all like this, and um, see y'all next week. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics, and make sure you subscribe. Bye.